Circle Center Mall has struggled in recent years to attract customers, and this most recent lawsuit highlights the fears of some business owners that those struggles could continue. Fox 59's Max Lewis talked with experts about why the issues have persisted and what could be done to turn it around. Well, the fashion mall at Keystone was hopping with people tonight. About 12 miles south in the heart of downtown, Circle Center Mall looks like it couldn't be further from civilization. While plenty of stores are still open, there's also many shuttered storefronts and not that many customers to attract. They're not making money like crazy. But at the same time, it's not a cash burn. The property has been in decline for years, and University of Indianapolis professor Eric Harvey says that was exacerbated by the pandemic. Office use has declined significantly since COVID-19, and so there's fewer people working downtown during the day, picking up those last-minute items or going over to the mall to shop during their lunch hour or right after work. Professor John Talbot, who focuses on retail at Indiana University, also pointed out modern malls are destinations with more of a focus on the experience rather than the purchases. He feels Circle Center has struggled with that balance. It's going to take time for Circle Center to get the types of entities that it needs within its hemisphere in order for it to be a successful experience center. There is an ongoing effort to revitalize the mall, but nothing has been formally decided. Professor Talbot says redeveloping this property is going to take two simple things, time and money. It's an expensive and probably fairly risky project, and I think they're just having a hard time attracting capital uh, to really get get busy. Harvey believes the city will have to be very involved for any revitalization to be successful, but says the bright spot in the mall's future is the increasing number of people living downtown. As people move into those places, there's going to be need for more retail, and we'll see that happen over the next few years. In downtown Indy, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Max, thanks. Now, today we reached out to the group that owns Circle Center Mall to get an update on their plans, but we never heard back.